What do you learn about Jamie over uh, coach? Uh, he's a hard worker. You know, he's uh, very coachable and he wants to do well. So uh, he, he's doing a great job. He's out working every single day. And, uh, you know, I look forward to good things from him. What are some of the similarities from a punk returner to a kick returner? Is there some crossover there? Or what are you specifically looking for when you're trying to separate the two? Yeah, you know, obviously tr the tracking of the ball is a little different, you know, because the ball comes off the foot differently. Uh, but you always want the same characteristics, speed, toughness, change of direction, all of that stuff. Um, you know, it takes a different body type to do kickoff return. You want a bigger, sturdier guy back there uh, in a perfect situation. Uh, but, you know, as a punt returner, you gotta, you gotta be fearless, you gotta be elusive, you know, and you gotta make good decisions. You know, and that's, that's the things you look for when it comes to those, those qualities you want in return. When, when you, uh, um, you guys brought in, you know, one more on the punter, um, you know, he has a body of work. Mm -hmm. from, from Cleveland, you know, maybe he didn't do as well in his third year than his first year. How much do you study that? And, um, you know, do you kind of try and reinvent him a little bit? Because, you know, one team left him behind, now you pick him up. You know, you left the guy behind you had here for a while. I mean, you know, you kind of rework him a little bit to get him to do what you, you want? You know, the one thing you got to understand when you're dealing with young players is there's a process, right? There's a process involved. And you have to be able to have patience and work through the process. He's here because he has talent. Most young players are here in this league because they have talent. Most young players that come into this league do not tear it up when they first walk in. There's a learning curve, there's a maturation process. So throughout that maturation process, you have to be able to find what he does well, uh, learn how he ticks, and then after you figure that thing out, thing out as a coach, then you work from there. And uh, he's, he's fixed some things. We, we've kind of identified some things that he needed to work on, and he's worked on them. He's, he's been doing well. Scottish Hammer is a great nickname, but is it, is it accurate? You know what I mean? Does is, is he need to be maybe less of a hammer at times? Uh, what, you know, he, he hammers the ball. He does. I mean, it, it kind of fits, but uh, his hang to distance needed to be improved, and uh, that's something that he's been working on and he's improving on. So, uh, you know, you want to make sure that the hang, the distance is, well, the hang is relative to the distance so you don't know outkick the coverage. And he's worked on that a lot. He's done a really good job. So we'll figure it out, you know, as we go along. His first game's coming up, so we'll go from there. Are there analytics for that, like 45 and five second hang time? Or? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the, you know, we always want, like, say, for example, if you kick the ball 40 yards, you want at least 4 0 hang time. Kick it 45 yards, you want 4 or 5 hang time. You know, if you kick it 50 yards, you want five over time in a perfect world. You know, so that that's something that we've used as special teams coaches over the years, just using that hang the distance ratio uh, relative to the punt. You've obviously been here for you know, a number of years, but did anything change now as a new head coach in? Like, does he just leave it to you more? Like, how, how do things change for you? Because you've obviously been here. Uh, you know, Dave's trust me, you know, uh, and it's been really good uh, kind of going back to how it was before when me and Blev was, were here. And uh, it's, it's been really good. Uh, it's, it's been fun because we got a new group of guys. You know, it's, it was a lot of turnover. So now you're trying to, you know, start back at square one and, and get them to understand how important this third phase is and, uh, and how it affects the game. How much do you have someone in mind that you would like them to be your primary punt return? You guys really haven't settled on a punt returner, it feels like, for several years now. I mean, it, it's all I talk about all the time. You, you coach who you got. You know what I mean? Like, whoever shows up, who's ever out there, that's who we got. You know, and uh, there's a bunch of guys back there working at it. We, got a, we have a lot of uh, options. And this is the first time in a while that we've had as many guys on the roster that can catch punts. You know, they've, they've done a really good job of, uh, I'll say this, our guys have done a good job of working over the years. The guys that we got in, the CJ Boards, the Darius Slaytons, the, you know, all of those guys, KTs, all those guys, catching punts. And now we have, uh, you know, a bunch of options back there. We got six or seven guys that can catch punts, and they do it well. I know you like working with Cam, Cam Brown. What? How hard is it in this NFL these days to carve out a career for yourself playing only special teams? Yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult, but it can be done. Uh, I don't think Cam is just a special teams only player. I think, uh, and I'm sure, I don't want to speak for Wink, but I'm sure there are some things that 
that he does well that they can use uh, defensively. And again, you know, I said this a while back with Cam. I think his his ceiling is so high, and he's so athletic. You can find you can find things for him to do, and he's just a really good football player. And again, he's a young player. You know, the, the maturation process of young players coming through this league. You know, you see him grow up on special teams, and they take those steps, and all of a sudden, in that fourth or fifth year, they take off. And I've seen it happen a lot. So. It happens. He's he's on his way, and uh, he's a good special teams player in the process. You've talked about more past, you know, when, even going back to your days as an assistant. When you have that guy or that you know that high draft pick, that's on specials for a year. You know, you're not going to have him. I think at JPP we used to yes, talk about what absolutely. he was like. Um, is there any part of you that allows you to think what would happen if Thibodeau were in your core teams, what he could be? Uh, you know, it, it's those. That, that situation between JPP and, and KT is different because if you look at the depth of the defensive line that we had back then, you know, you had, you know, Matthias and Tuck and Tolleson, you had so many guys, you know, there's, there was no reason for us not to use JPP and because he needed to get on the field and he needed to play. And, uh, but this situation is a little different, you know, uh, with our pass rush situation. So, you know, obviously, you got to be smart in how you handle it, and he's going to have some roles, but you know, we'll figure that out as we go along. I know the game this week doesn't count in the standings, but you're playing a team and a coach that is steeped in special teams knowledge. And have you studied Belichick over the years and seen what is unique to him and what his team does well? You know, I, I study all the coaches. You know, we we literally keep a file on every special teams coordinator, you know, around the league, and. His teams are always disciplined. His teams, they always play fast because of the detail that they, they prepare with. And, uh, you know, going in, you're going to have to deal with Slater and, and, you know, all the rest of the guys over there, you know, and those guys have been there for a long time uh, and they're well coached. Cam does a hell of a job over there with those guys. And, uh, you know, they have grew up steeped in special teams. So they're always one of the top 10 special teams units in the league and that's, that's not going to change.